Lisandro Martinez will be assessed after appearing to suffer a knee injury during Manchester United's 3-0 win over West Ham United. A fine display, capped by goals from Rasmus Hojlund and Alejandro Garnacho, too, made for a very positive afternoon at Old Trafford, but there was obvious concern for Martinez from teammates, staff, and supporters. The Argentina international, not long back from a foot problem, tussled with Vladimir Kufal by the touchline and got his leg trapped by the Hammers' fullback. Licha bravely carried on, making his way back onto the pitch when Jared Bowen raced through on goal. Diogo Dalot made a vital saving challenge, but after chasing down the loose ball, Martinez collapsed in pain again when challenging for it. This time, the centre-back was forced to make way and headed for the tunnel clearly emotional and grimacing, with Rafael Varane taking his place in the 70th minute. The France international helped the Reds keep a clean sheet alongside Harry Maguire. In his post-match interviews with Sky and the BBC, Eric Ten Hag admitted things do not look good for the influential defender. I can't tell the detail, but it seems bad, he said. We have to wait for the detail and making the right diagnosis in the coming days. We'll see what is going on. In this moment, we're very sad about this, but hopefully it's not too bad. We can only pray. We have to find out in the next days what is the diagnosis. It's very bad for him and very bad for the team. He's just returning and is a very important part for us. Last season when he fell out, I felt our performances dropped a level. We have to avoid that because we have a good squad and center backs who can fill in. But he definitely brings spirit to the team apart from his footballing abilities. It's disappointing for the team and especially for Licha. It's so frustrating, he worked hard to return now for two games. It looks like he has to sit some games out injured again, but let's stay positive at this moment. Hopefully, it's not too bad, but we have to wait. The Manchester United manager praised the impact of Kobe Mainu, Alejandro Garnacho, and Rasmus Hoylund. Eric Ten Hag has said he always knew Manchester United's young players would come to the fore this season after goals from Rasmus Hoglund and Alejandro Garnacho secured a 3-0 win over West Ham United on Sunday. It's been a difficult season for the pair at times, but they've grown in stature throughout the campaign, with Hoglund scoring in his last four Premier League matches and Garnacho, starting the last 19 games in all competitions. In addition, Kobe Mainu has returned from injury and played the last nine matches and scored the winner in Thursday's 4-3 win against Wolverhampton Wanderers. The juvenile trio celebrated Garnacho's first goal on Sunday by sitting arm-in-arm arm on the advertising boards in an iconic and emblematic image of United's future. The youth-inspired win sees United move into sixth, the club's highest position of the season, while they've now scored 15 goals in the last seven games. After the widespread criticism Ten Hag has received this season, in his eyes, the team's improvement vindicates many of his decisions. Yeah, but you didn't believe me. No one. I have seen all your briefing, the Dutchman joked after the 3-0 win over West Ham. You see the progress is coming, and we bought players in the summer for the future. We also make choices to give players who deserved it to get opportunities in the first team, as Garnacho and Mainu did. But as Mainu in the second game of preseason against Madrid gets a real bad injury, yeah, then all the plans you have, you have to adapt. Hodgland, he had a period, came too late in, but you see he is progressing. And when there is a consistent team in his back with routines, they will serve him better, and then you see a front line who's in balance, and I think it's a threat for every opponent. We saw the potential from those players, but they need, of course, games. They need experience, and the only way you can get this is to play in that first team and to get the opposition, and then adapt. When they have the right attitude and when they keep doing this in togetherness and in that attitude to improve every day, then I'm convinced they can achieve very high levels. Sunday's victory means United have won five of the last seven in all competitions, and while Ten Hag is pleased with the upturn in form, the ex-Ajax boss was keen to stress there is still real room for improvement. 
a youthful look to the score sheet again as Man Oot ran out comfortable winners against the Hammers. Hoyland commemorated his birthday with a lovely step over and strike into the corner of the net. The away side put up a good account of themselves in the first half, having 13 shots. It was record for Moyes at Old Trafford, including his time in charge of U.S. Garnacho got the other two, one taken away from the incoming Fabianski as it deflected off Aguerd, and the second after being put through by McTominay after it was won back off Calvin Phillips. When it became clear that Man Ut would not be able to financially sustain a challenge for Harry Kane, the first choice for the manager, the next best alternative was always going to be looking at a player that could become the next best thing rather than looking at the current options. Again, due to the fact that financial implications would put the club into trouble with the football authorities, but also because they were not the most stellar surefire players that would guarantee you the goals that they money would buy. This is how we ended up in a situation where Rasmus Hoylund would be the leading striker for Man Up for this season. He is now 21 years old and looks like he's finding his feet. There have been dawns where the talent of the boy has been clear to see. Unfortunately, they came almost exclusively in the Champions League and only in games where Man Ud lost points, especially in spectacular fashion. All in all, though, you could clearly see this a player with attributes but those that are not well-rounded. His movement wasn't clinical, in the sense that he was not assured enough to make movements that had to force the pass or cross. Most of that good with the off-the-ball work came from the fact that he did not give up and was much better presser than his predecessors. Yet he was often seen sprawled out on the floor having missed a cross coming in, the degrees of closeness varying. He is not one to drop deep link play or working the channels to the extent that the CBs felt like they were playing against two strikers. That is an attribute that can come with age, but he did waste his energies trying to get into wrestling matches with center backs. It is not that it is a bad thing to let your opponent know you're there, but having to do that constantly with the rigors of the Premier League will take a lot out of you. In all this, his first 14 games in the league was without any fruit. He now has four in his last four Premier League appearances. The one he was able to get today, to mark his 21st birthday, was that it was one that struck of a man with all the confidence in the world, something he has looked short of in the barren weeks he suffered. There has been a more instinctive aspect to his notches this season, but this one, after good work from Casemiro to win it back, 